Hello everyone, today we're going to be checking out LEGO Worlds. This game is currently the number one or number two top selling game on Steam right now. It has mostly positive reviews and it's only just around $15. So this one seems like it might be worth checking out. I have played about two or three minutes of this just to get a handle uh, on the controls. But otherwise this is going to be a fresh experience for me. So let's see here, we have this little menu up in the corner here. We can select our character, either the woman adventurer or this strange man or the same guy. I don't know why they have two different options for the same character model, maybe he has different animations. The option screen is very limited. I have everything cranked up to max and it seems to be running pretty good. But uh, there's no uh, settings for controls or anything like that. So we can either find a world, which pretty much just randomly generates one for us, or we can load a world. This is the world that I've uh, this is the world that I've kind of messed around with a little bit already. But uh, I think we're just going to generate a new one here. It looks like we have a random world button here that we can click and. Uh, comes with like a random seed number generated here, so I guess you could recreate these uh, numbers if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, it seems like I can delete this and type in whatever I wanted here. So that's a convenient way to share worlds that were randomly generated here, and you want others to be able to play too. This is an interesting world, it's basically all water. You can see right through the bottom there. I would like a little bit of land on, on the one I'm going to try out here. This uh, looks alright, maybe. Some water, some land. Let's uh, jump into it and see how it goes. So we just get, uh, we just skydive right into this place, don't we? So it kind of controls like a MMO where you're moving with the WASD and uh, turning your character with the right click. It seems like every time we pass by one of these objects it's added up here to like a like our inventory or something. These are, must be the different crafting tools. Okay, so I could just simply place bricks wherever I wanted them to be. That could probably take hours. I can also punch stuff with a left click. I'm sure there's probably going to be zombies or something. Can we punch through anything we want? I wonder if we can uh, like dig a hole or something. What else do we have? Models. So we don't have any items. We have four characters. Uh, we have some brick builds. I guess these are like uh, prefabricated models that you can just drop down. Like if I wanted to make a tree. I suppose I could just plant this anywhere. Um, I could just put it right here. <laughs> I must say, that's a really cool effect. It's like coming right out of his Lego gun. Alright, then I can get out of there. Doesn't seem to be any fall damage in the game, it's- you just- you can just jump from any height. Can I climb trees, I wonder? <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I suppose you can climb anything. Oh, oh. So this is the tree that I just created. Uh, what else can I do? So I don't have any vehicles yet. I'd really like to get a, a car or something to drive around in. 
What is this? Sets? And props. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to click the menu and my guy is punching. Maybe I can... Add terrain, remove terrain. I was hoping I could... Okay, yeah, you can just straight up dig into the world here. Seems to be like a, some kind of currency going on from uh, destroying stuff. Not sure what that's about. I just collected like a grass prop or something. I'm curious how the water handles. I want to try going for a swim here. Okay, get me out of here. I don't want to build anything. Okay, so we can swim, and there's like a... <laughs> I like how the water particle effects are actually little Lego pieces. Like, why is this a different uh, texture than the rest of the water, though? Can I actually build... Build a block? Oh, I guess I can... Build stuff on top of the water here. Will it float or sink, though? I'm not sure. No, it floats. Okay, what are those guys doing over there? Are they friendly? Looks like a skeleton. And a vampire? What are they doing? I'm sure those must be enemies, but they're like stuck out here in the ocean. And their AI can't uh, handle it or something. I'm gonna go ahead and swim to shore. What's this? Did we discover a new land or something? So now we're in Mushroom Town. And we can bounce on them. Okay. Can't seem to be able to destroy them, though. Oops, oh, coming into the uh, nighttime. Of course, all survival games need to have a day night cycle. Here's one of those skeletons. I'm guessing he wants to fight. <laughs> Look at him putting up his dukes. Okay, here comes another one. They seem pretty easy. Oh my god, there's a ton of them. Do they just keep calling their friends or something? Oh, here's a mushroom in the air. That's no good. Gotta fix that. Oh! They keep coming out of nowhere. It's like as soon as I kill one, another one charges at me. Yeah, they, they, they just don't stop coming. I think I'll have to leave and... Uh... Try and get somewhere safe. Let's see, what uh, what kind of prefabs do I have? Characters. Oh, I can spawn in a skeleton. Why would I want to do that, though? Can build this uh, Wild West building. <laughs> Maybe I can hide in here. Just plop that down right there. What else can we make?
can make a freaking castle. Um, where should I put this now? I wonder what'll happen if I throw it on top of trees. <laughs> Is it just gonna encase the trees in them? So I guess it flattens out the land before it actually starts building. You could see it was adding terrain just to compensate for the gap there. Yeah, <laughs> the trees are just trapped inside. I want to see if I can get inside the, the Wild West house up here. Hide from these skeletons, maybe. No doors. Oh, and we got a mushroom trapped in here. I can just scale the wall? <laughs> That's crazy. This guy's like a spider monkey. He found his way in. What's going on with the, the castle now? I could just climb anything. That's crazy. I want to see what the set is. Pop that down over there. Oh, it's like a whole, um... house with, uh... <laughs> Even comes with a husband and wife. Can I drive his car? That'd be amazing. Hello. I want to add her to my collection as well. Can I talk to them? Oh, what's going on? I just jumped in their pool. Why did I... <laughs> what the hell? Okay, what? And I crapped out some uh, some money for doing that. That's weird. Can I get in the car? Oh, I can! Drive, steer, rotate camera. Exit, okay. Oh, that is cool. Wow, it goes fast too. I wanted to see if I could interact with the NPCs, though. They're, they're gonna have a hard time with all these zombies running around. Look at the woman! She's running from the skeletons! Someone's gotta help her. Come here, skeletons. Oh, they, they just run too fast for me. Okay, there we go. There's like an ostrich over there. I wanted to talk to this woman. Um... Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> I thought there might be some dialogue. I want to get the, uh, the car back though. Oh, can we ride that? I want to ride the horse. Oh, before the skeleton gets me. Come on. Oh, the horse can attack. Okay. Oh, attack doesn't work. I tried uh I tried pushing F. It didn't do anything. Can we get her to hop on the back? Oh, well. Can we ride an ostrich? <laughs> of course we can, we can ride anything in this game. He's really slow though. Oh, what is that? That's like a ATV or something up here.
<laughs> I'm getting punched and it's like I'm stuck in a cinematic cutscene. Okay, let's go. Are those zombies? What the hell? I don't think those are regular human beings. They're they're like werewolves. <laughs> okay. So far they haven't attacked me, so I'm not gonna worry about it. We must be in like Halloween town with all these cauldrons and tombstones. All right, on to the trees of white flowers. I don't know what else to call this place. It's a snowman. Oh, this is a... It's not white flowers, this is snow. Can I do anything with this? I can punch him. <laughs> Throw him in the ocean. There's like a treasure chest here. Not sure what to do with all this currency. I guess we can buy characters. Creatures. We can buy vehicles too. Bunch of props. What happens if we just buy the uh, the guy here? Does that mean we can... maybe we can play as him or something. I'll buy them all. Uh, character customizer. White or red hat? Oh, and we can change our face to the, the characters that we just saw. Okay. Make our torso different. I see. I think that's what uh, what you buy them for, so that you can use them as uh, your own character. Okay, there's my car. More skeletons. I want all that money. What's that shining thing up there? It's like Glitterland or something. What is all this? It's like a alien planet or something. With the eagle? I want to see what the eagle does. Can we ride the eagle? No way! We can fly with him. Fly is space pace, uh, drop down, flying, left control. Oh, we so have to take off. Okay, he's a little bit slower than I was expecting. But at least we can get a bird's eye view. Can I just land anywhere? Oh, what is that? Is that new? I haven't seen this car before. Oh, it's got a drill on it! I kind of wish I didn't have to sit through a little cinematic every time I entered a vehicle. Drilling vehicle, okay. Rotate camera, dig terrain with space. Dig up with shift, down, okay. Alright, we so have to dig into this, uh... Hold on, where are you going? Can I turn on the drill? I 
Is it working? Okay, I have to be moving forward to use it. <laughs> oh, that is insane. Can I dig down? I wonder if there's any caverns or anything uh, underneath the surface that we'll just break into. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're getting pretty deep here. I'm actually surprised. Wow, that is really cool. I'm surprised there's so much light down here, as it is. And our eagle buddy. I wish our eagle could just uh, follow us so I could fly out of here. Okay, let's keep going uh, deeper. Oh, get off the ceiling, you freak. Okay, here we go. Easy now. The frame rate's kind of hitching, but I think it's because of all the uh, all the computations that are going on here, with each individual brick being uh, removed. I think we might just end up falling off the bottom of the map. We discovered something. Oh, what is that? It's like the, uh... The end of the road here. Yeah, we can't go down anymore. Because of this, uh, black... surface that we just ran into. Can we dig our way back up? Okay, that'll take forever to dig our way all the way back up to the surface. I think there's a way to uh, skydive back down into the world. Is that lava up ahead, or what? what is that? Okay, now we're in dragon territory. Look at the snowman, he's so close to the lava. Let's punch him into the lava. <laughs> yeah, that that's how that would turn out. I think I need a horse if I'm gonna go r running on lava here. Can I get that box though? more money. I think at any time I could just spawn another one of those drilling machines if I really wanted to. The drill cost 5,000 of these uh, Lego bits. Who's that? It's like a cave woman. Hold on, where are you going? I just want to get a good look at you. What? She just sank to the bottom of the ocean. Can I dive down there? I can't seem to go down. I'm kind of stuck on the surface. Well, whatever she is, I, I discovered her. And she's in my collection now. Let's get on the horse. I wonder if I can ride the dragon. Oh no, 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 don't die. Uh, the horse fell in the lava. Well, I fell in the lava with it, but... Come here, Mr. Dragon. I want to ride you. Oh, he has an E-prompt. 
Must mean I can ride him. Oh, there's like an evil wizard guy. Oh, and he can shoot fireballs? Wait, how does he shoot? I want to shoot. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Let's go kill this guy. Oh, he fell in the lava. What's this down here? Oh, it's a whole band of these guys. Well, time to die. Oh, it actually deforms the ground. That's really cool. Oh, I was like ejected from my... from my dragon for some reason. Okay, so he just automatically attacks whatever whatever target is closest. <laughs> That's so cool. I thought they might fight back with the uh, magic of their own or something. Let's see what's up here. Kind of an unusual mountain we got going here. Be cool if I could start an avalanche or something. Oops. <laughs> I just ejected. Get back on. Can he go underwater? Ah, oh, just a little bit. Okay. Fly away. Oh, what is this now? It's like a submarine or something. I gotta check this out. Can we dive with it? I can't seem to go underwater with it. Try for a camera exit vehicle. Eh. Man, I was really hoping I could uh, explore some underwater stuff. Oh, looks like we got a bulldozer over here. Question is, can we dig with it? Dig terrain with space. All right, let's uh, let's dig some stuff. <laughs> it just completely flattens whatever's in front of me. Oh, that's really cool. I could go anywhere with this. It does get caught on the top a little bit for when you go under the ground, though. Can I dig up a tree? 
can go right under the tree. Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, let's let's get back on track here. It's really slow but powerful. What is that? It's like a old moonshine still or something? What is that supposed to be? It's got a lot of money in it. I think I actually run faster on foot than uh, in the bulldozer. Oh yeah, I forgot I can just climb anything. <laughs> just scale this wall here. Oh, grab on. It's like Assassin's Creed style. What is this thing? It's like a big uh, monolith or something. What is that supposed to be? I gotta get to the top. It's like a, a perch just for sightseeing or something. Alright, well that has been a lot of fun. I can tell there's definitely enough content here to warrant spending $15. It's in early access, so you can expect some more content probably being added in soon. You should also be aware that there could be bugs and glitches that they're still ironing out, so buyer beware. But anyway, that has been taking a look at LEGO Worlds. I had a good time, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and if you did, please consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll catch you all later in the next episode.